I'm joined now by Phil Pendleton. Phil, what a nail biter, especially for the fans. That's exactly right. You know, some would argue that this was an exciting game. You know, it was close all the way to the end, but for the UK fans inside the Georgia Dome, it was all about surviving a nail biter. As UK fans entered the Georgia Dome, some admitted this matchup scared them. I'm a little worried, but I think we'll pull it out. Uh, maybe they have an off day and we'll have a real good one. It was a close game in the first half, and some fans didn't like it one bit. Well, this first half kind of given me the heebie-jeebies. A little bit too nervous for me. Too close for comfort. But the Wildcat faithful in this sea of blue kept their hopes alive. Big 42 out there is just shooting three-pointed over place. So, you know, I'm just worried about it, but we can get him. We can try to get him. Kentucky's going to whoop him. We're a second-half team. So we're going to come out and take charge. A nail-biter to be sure, but these fans got that they needed a win and a chance to play for the SEC championship. I was very worried that we had Chuck Hayes and Morris with four fouls. I knew we was going to be in trouble there, but I still thought we could do it. You know, UK is UK, and we got a senior on team. Pull us through. Oh, I don't know. I was scared, but still thought that we could pull it through. Well, a lot of excited fans, Rob, and you know, I heard that what happened after the game as the team bus was going back to the hotel, hundreds of fans rushed the bus. Tubby Smith and the team were taken to a secure location to get off the bus, and just, it just was an incredible night. Fans just running wild here tonight, and just, it just was an exciting finish to a, to a great ball game. Tremendous Kentucky crowd here this afternoon. The Wildcats get the Florida Gators in the SEC Tournament Championship tomorrow. We'll have a lot more coming up on that in sports, but for now, Back to you.